Uh, uh, welcome to the video, ladies and gentlemen. You've obviously seen the title on this, and that's why you clicked on the video. It's not clickbait. This is. Uh, I'm going to try to be as genuine and uh, truthful, in my opinions, uh, as I want to regarding this situation. Literally, just went for a run this morning, feeling good. Came back, look on the social media, and I see this morning that Jeremy Cole has been cancelled. The sh whole show has stopped. Uh, forever like it's gone obviously I had my doubts and speculations on whether uh, that was truthful uh, of course it is truthful we I found out now and before we do get into this video I would recommend anyone that is easily offended by death or suicide to click off the video because we are gonna talk about some raw shit like uh, yeah so for the viewers that don't know what's going on uh, Jeremy Cole is a reality TV show uh, in the UK Britain Jeremy Cole is obviously the host of the show he tries to sort out people's problems whether that being relationship uh, babies cheating any sort of serious matter but obviously there is a part of it I do understand when people say it is it is there's an extent because it is for entertainment at the end of the day but he's, he's trying to get his money. That's the, the main thing which a lot of people uh, are concerned about. The show has been going on for 14 years and is now cancelled due to the death and suicide of 63 year old uh, Steve Diamond. It's very, I mean, it's, it's very sad and unfortunate and obviously, obviously my heart does go out to Steve Diamond, his family and any of his friends or anyone that actually knew him as a person. The first thing, before you, anybody watching this video read something in one article or another and jumps to any conclusions, always do your research. I can't stress how important it is. Just read, read, read different articles. So I've read The Guardian, uh, The Sun, and also Sky News. Like, there's different perspectives there. So in the UK with politics, how it works is, I think, I believe Sky News and also uh, The Sun are more right-wing uh, a more right wing than to like the higher. So how it works, I believe, within politics is like, for example, Sky News and also the Sun are more right wing, like in the positive towards hierarchy, and left wing would be the Guardian. They're gonna try to sway you different ways with their opinions, and it's not always as factual as it seems. So as far as I'm aware, what I've read is that so with all the social media comments, the fact it's on a live show, he did fail a lie detector test, which is like I mean it's like it's not a positive thing. It's considered a negative thing when you failed in front of you know thousands of millions of people watching you know around the world. And so all the pressure of that pushed him to the brim. And I do feel like there is the argument for if it wasn't televised, if this type of show wasn't around just to, to uh, mock, because that to me, Jeremy Carl, like at the end of the day, he's doing his job, he's getting his money, but there's an extent to where you go from like serious matters. Like I think he does see this as you know it is a business at the end of the day, but there's an extent to go uh, in terms of morals, especially this is people's lives and not something to joke around. People have problems. If you want to actually sort it out seriously, go to a psychiatrist go see people, talk to people, but as the fact that it's televised and it's sort of, you know, the way Jeremy Cole is, that sort of uptone beat, like, um, sarcastic, you know, he, he's very, he can maybe come across a bit intimidating at times, I feel like, as well. Obviously, it is shameful that the, the show is completely stopped because there's certain things that are out of people's control. No one knew that this, um, that Steve Diamond was going to, you know, commit suicide, unfortunately, and it's not something that I believe I don't think it could have been stopped if you had them thoughts you would have that would have happened anyway, as bad as that sounds, but yeah, the the, the televise the televisation of the programme and the situation, uh, the pressure getting to him doesn't help at all. Obviously it still is upsetting that the show's completely cancelled, me watching it up and growing older. I don't don't watch it like anymore as a kid, you something you just see your parents watching it and you just watch it as well. But if you think about it, it is it is kind of fucked up that people get a buzz off Drama and especially like I understand if it's fake drama, i.e. might be Big Brother, might be Love Island and so on, whatever the other TV programs are in the world. But when it's something that's like serious matters, because I I do know the argument of a lot of people that do go on Jeremy Cole, they might play an act where but some people are having serious matters, they're gonna solve it. And it's almost like the Jeremy Cole show uses that and manipulates it to, you know, try make, you know, the Jeremy Cole show, make the show out of a bad situation which isn't the best idea because with a show what do you want you want laughs you want funny things to happen uh, you want to find any comedy you can out of anything negative which is actually a, a recipe quite frankly for disaster in my opinion obviously suicide as I can stress and everyone knows watching this video is not a joke a serious matter I think ITV some people are trying to blame ITV shouldn't be airing this 
Uh, some people are blaming Jeremy Cole for the way he goes about things, the way he talks to people. He could talk in, in a certain tone, he could not make it as entertaining as it is. And some people are just not blaming, but saying that it's not anyone's fault. It's just a situation where, in his head, that was his mental state. He wanted to, he wanted to end his life, which is like, no, I don't believe any person in this planet should do that. Uh, no matter what mistake you've made, uh, I think you can always bounce back, get help, talk to people. Uh, I'll leave in the description a link for, you know, the suicide prevention, uh, the main, the main website anyway, for you guys to have a look. If you do need any help, obviously. But I think yeah, this this society, we need to be more supportive of one, one another. Consider, you know, not just not just be selfish and think, oh, you've done this and that, but think about from their perspective, maybe because. I think perspective is a, is a big thing. If, if, you, if you understand someone's perspective and how you may feel, like empathy is the main word, put yourself into someone else's shoes, literally, and thinking, what would I do in that situation? I think that could help, uh, to be honest, because helping one another, even in the worst of times, uh, is better than you know putting someone down when they're already down. I don't believe in putting someone down when they're already down. Uh, not when it's serious, anyway. If it's drama that's, and it's all fun and games, that's fine, but not when it's serious, you know, problems. Yeah, I think in terms of suicide in general, social media is a huge, huge, huge impact. Like the stigma that a single person, me, you, i.e. anyone that uses a mobile phone, social media gets um, from just typing hate comments. I don't understand it as much. I, know, I get some hate comments and I probably have left hate comments in the past when you're younger, but like when you mature, you realize that there is, there's no point. Like the, I think the impact of social media is increasing like as bad as that does sound because technology is so good in its own way but it's also toxic like a lot of people say social media is toxic uh, I don't believe that at all I feel like it's the way in which you use it uh, communication brilliant um, having fun making videos content all well and good but when it comes down to like abusing people and put someone down or because you know you know how the internet works one person says something everyone else will copy them it blows up and then all of a sudden you get one person that feels attacked and they feel alone quite frank alone quite frankly and uh, these sort of things happen guys that's been it for today's video please let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of this if you agree whose fault you think it is and why um this has been your boy and zingy thank you ever so much for watching i'm sorry it's been a bit more of a serious video if you didn't enjoy this then uh i do apologize we've got more videos on the way uh this is honestly the probably most devastating news i've heard today really uh, but yeah, speak to you guys in a bit.